I was chained at the wrists and ankles, shackled to a metal bar that was secured to a concrete wall, locked in a small soundproof room, hidden behind my ex-husband's laundry cupboard. He set up a small television there, running the news channel 24-7, so I could see all of the reports about my missing self. I was growing weaker every day without water or food, but he would be back soon to beat me, and that's when I would make a break for it. I had a plan to get out. It wasn't foolproof, but I had to try. I still had hope. That's all that mattered in those moments. That was until I saw the reports that Paul, my ex-husband, and the prime suspect in my disappearance had been found dead in his home. They had already come to inspect the scene and take away his body, packed up, and left. I was alone now, with no chance of escape. I had no hope left.